If you don't subscribe to Elliot James's channel, it is going against your patriotic duty. Okay, that is the worst fucking accent ever. Subscribe to my channel, bitch. Hey guys, I know you guys are seeing the title of this video and thinking, girl, what the fuck? Me too. But let's just start, shall we? Let me tie my hair. Okay, so first Halloween tutorial. And I want to start with a bad You know, I, th I was thinking, you know, about like scary things. I could do like it, uh, I could do like Pennywise things to American Horror Story. But the scariest thing that's come out of 2017, let's be real, is Donald Trump. Now my views on this man are not what this video is about. I may love him, I may hate him, but <clears throat> that's not what this video is. What this video is, is um, those people who find him scary, um, you know, appropriate for Halloween. And so this video is gonna be my way of showing you guys how to achieve this. Okay, so to start off with, I am just going to prime my face. Cause you know, pores are scary. So we just wanna hide them babies away. So people aren't scared. <laughs> It's my first Halloween tutorial, guys. Like, cut me some slack, you know what I mean? Okay, so my face is primed. I'm not doing foundation because um, Donald Trump, he is a man of a particular age. And so, you know, his skin is weathered and not so tight and snatched as it may have used to. Any sort of imperfection and flaws that I got going on. We want those to be exaggerated. What I am gonna do is put a little concealer around the eyes. You'll see why. Right, now with that concealer set in place, I am just gonna go ahead and take some setting powder and I just wanna set that really quick. Just gonna take some translucent powder, pat around those eyes. Let's get to the most obvious thing. Donald Trump obviously likes a good fake tan. If one thing, you could say his tan was on fleek. I am a pasty piece of paper. So to give me that cute tan, we're gonna go in with this cute little eyeshadow right here. It's called Charm. It is a bright neon orange. I already tried this and it looked pretty good. So I'm just gonna take that. I'm not gonna tap off the excess. If I do that, then I'll lose all that pigment. And honey, I need as much as I can. So now, I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna tan. Yeah. This may look excessive. So I'm just gonna bring it down a notch or two with um, some different translucent powder. There's a tiny, tiny bit of orangey sort of pigmentation to it. Um, it's kind of, uh, basically, like whenever I used to use this um, powder, because it's not like completely translucent, whenever I'd put it over my foundation, I would notice it would go like orangey, so. That did exactly what I wanted it to. Tone it down, just because that is a very bright neon. All right, now, um, I don't have a Donald wig. We do sell one at my work, but I don't, I don't think my manager would let me like borrow it for the day. So what I can do is, obviously, Donald um, has some light ass eyebrow. So we just go make our eyebrows look a little grey, look a little white. You know, he is a man of a certain age and things start to go grey. You know? Okay, that was just some white concealer. 
Now I'm just gonna let that kind of dry by itself because I don't want to go in with my beauty blender because it might like take away and it'll just it'll get messy. Um, but what I'm gonna do is now what I'm gonna do to sort of like reaffirm the eye area. I'm just gonna go in with my Mac Studio Fix. Look at look at that. Oh, I need I need a new one. I am gonna just go in with a little Morphe 108 brush. I love this brush for powdering. The Ever since that one video where I tried to use it with my liquid foundation, it has turned to absolute shit. It keeps molting. Maybe I just need to like give it one good clean. This is just to um, soften the lines, I guess. And also brighten up that eye area. Does Donald have cheekbones? He's got a slight cheekbone. What he does have is he has those like smile lines and all of that other business so what i'm gonna do is just gonna go with the detailer brush into safe word from the androgyny palette i'm sort of just gonna like draw in some details gonna cut this cheek a little I want you want to bring it down you know okay now that we sort of added those time for the lip now Donald has this lovely kind of like a constant nude situation so I am just gonna go in with my um <clears throat> my Maybelline fair me concealer and um we're gonna use that that good nude lip Blend that out because it's obviously not that prominent. And then just gonna set that. Okay, well this kind of is the final look. I got my shirt on looking real presidential and shit. Just gotta touch up that fan and shit. Yeah. You know, I can't stop that. Let's give Donald that good makeover. Let's glam him up a little, shall we? So I'm just going to take this orangey highlighter in my sleek palette and we're just going to pop that on them good Donald Trump cheekbones. Just obviously because you know you got at that pop of fun and yeah girl yeah queen cupid much in and just for good measure we'll give Donald an inner corner highlight. Oh yes, oh bitch. So yeah, like I'll just let you get that good close up of all this. Mm, mm. And yeah, this is, you know, I'm not American, so it's whatever. Um, this was just a fun, cute little, like, daytime video, you know, for Halloween. Because in my mind, you know, I have seen a lot of people that, that feel, that feel genuine fear against uh, this man. But selfie. Yes, Donald, get that, get that snatched face. Oh yes. Donald Trump, the beauty guru. <laughs> um, and so yeah, you know, this has been something, I, I don't know, like honestly, like, like I said at the beginning, this isn't about my views, this is just, a Halloween tutorial. This guy is scary. He's the president of the United States. Even without everything that he's done, he is still a scary person. And um, I know a lot of people that would want to be him. So if you're going as Donald Trump this year, you're welcome. Um, go get yourself that good wig. Um, maybe some lace front eyebrows because they are so cool. Um, and yeah, that's all I'm really gonna say. I'll let you guys sound off in the comment section. You know, you guys um, like to debate. And so yeah, I'll see you guys in another video.
かな As the president of the United States, I demand all y'all go and subscribe to Elliot James' channel. Boy, that was the worst accent ever. Where, where is he? Isn't Donald from New York? Boy, 